Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Teasing the NFL, your destination for NFL teaser bets. I'm Daniel Saluto, along with Andrew Chang here. We're taking you through the early afternoon games for Sunday of week 15 of the 2020 NFL season. Second game on the board is a battle between the Detroit Lions going to the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee is the favorite, big favorite here at minus 11, and your total Oof. is 51 and a half. So Detroit gets teased up to plus 17. Uh, Indy gets teased down. I'm oh, sorry. Tennessee gets teased down to minus five. Your over gets teased down to 45 and a half, and your under gets teased up to 57 and a half. There it is. Oh, okay. So uh, why the huge favorite besides uh, Detroit being? Detroit? The reason why is because there's a really good chance that Stafford doesn't play this week oh. uh, after uh, some big rib injury, and Chase Daniel went into the game last week. Didn't do poorly but he's not Matt Stafford for sure so that's why actually not all the books out there have a line for this um, some of them do obviously the consensus does but like the MGM William Hill the Nugget don't have um, numbers out there for him right now but the main consensus is the uh, 11 minus 11 and a half for Tennessee so wow. how are we feeling about this one and a half the fact that Tennessee can win by two touchdowns and a oh, field goal, and I would still be good with the 11, sorry, 11, not 11 and a half, sorry. Oh. I don't know, that's, that's kind of steep. For the Titans, even if it is Detroit without a QB. No, really? Is it? I mean, that's why I'm asking you. Um, well, okay, so <coughs> I don't think it's that steep because Detroit doesn't really have that good of a defense. And if you're expecting, you know, the usual route of Tennessee, here's the ball, Henry, go run them over, get in the end zone, then you should expect them to pretty easily win this game. And, and I kind of don't see it going any other way because Detroit doesn't really have anything to offer on defense to really stop, you know, truckload Derrick Henry. They don't have enough offense to do anything, especially if Stafford doesn't play. Still no Kenny Galladay, which is huge. So. Oof. So I mean, it's just my boy T.J. Hawkinson. Yeah, it's basically just Marvin Jones Jr., <laughs> T.J. Hawkinson, and uh, the, running, Swift and the running game. Yeah, Swift will play, and then Peterson will get some touches. Ageless as well. and then, Peterson. And then for some reason, Carryon Johnson also gets a touch or two at this point. So it's weird. Um, that is weird. So yeah, I, I'm just gonna say straight up. I think you can tease Tennessee uh, under a touchdown, get them down to minus five or five and a half, depending on what your book gives you. I think it's fine. Um, they should win this game pretty easily. Uh, if Tennessee's smart, they should, you know, limit. They should limit Derrick Henry, Henry in, what, the, in the second half. But they what, didn't last <laughs> game. They didn't last game. So I mean, against Jacksonville oh, too. There's my wallet. Yeah, um, that's, that's that's all your money. For me. That's right. It's just falling out of my pockets, America. <laughs> yeah, I just. I, I mean, they should be smart and limit Derrick Henry near the end of the game. But I don't think they will. So that's why I think I can easily take Tennessee. And uh, take you know take the points here. I mean take take the lower line of minus five. They should win by honestly double digits pretty easily. You don't have to worry about it as much. <clears throat> Are you uh, playing your boy uh, Mr. Brown in this game? Yeah, I'm playing AJ Brown in this game for sure, mm. and Ryan Tannehill. So they 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 got a good they got a pretty good matchup here. Detroit still doesn't have as good as secondary. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I'm running with both of them. I think Henry's going to get plenty of yards, of course. He'll get plenty of touches, but that'll open up the passing game more for Tannehill to be able to get it to, you know, hopefully A.J. Brown. He's got Corey Davis, Johnny Smith. So there's a lot There's a lot of good things going Tennessee's way, and, and they just have too many weapons for uh, Detroit to really deal with on defense, and especially if Stafford doesn't play, did, Detroit's not going to have any uh, real answers on offense uh, to reply back. And, yes, Tennessee's defense is bad, but if Chase Daniel's playing, he's not going to be able to take advantage of that matchup. Okay, so question. Um, I'm hoping, by the way, that you get a nice little stack because I want you to advance in your playoffs. Yeah, I mean, the stack worked last week. I mean, they hooked up on the first touchdown, so that worked well. Okay, so with that being said, oh, well, I guess you won't like the over because you don't you don't like Chase Daniels. If uh, if Stafford plays, I'll probably think the over's fine if you want to do a same game teaser, but I think there's too much value to take Tennessee under a touchdown. Hmm. God, man. You know what? I'm I'm rooting for you, Danny. I hope 
that Tennessee just blows them out of the water without Derrick Henry, because I think you're playing against Derrick Henry. I am. Oh, ouch. Um, Projected for 19.99 points. Oh. Um, well, with that projection, I think that kind of seals my choice, too. I don't think that this will be on my card, per se, but you got to like Tennessee. Do you think that Tennessee is in a soft spot in this matchup? Like, they're not looking ahead, or... Uh, let me see who they're playing next week. Um, That's pretty important, because they're... Are they leading, or are they second? They are... In the me, AFC let me, South. Let me look at the standings. Uh, I think they're in the... I think Indy's in the lead. Yeah, uh, no, Tennessee's in the lead. They have the tiebreaker. So. That's interesting. Yeah, so they're playing for something for sure. And we're going to look up who they're playing next week. Uh, yeah, I just, I like that. I got a root for you. There's a little bias on there. Initially, I just thought, you know, okay. Detroit, I want to say they have an easy matchup next week, but let me check. Yeah, but Detroit, I just. Yeah, they play, uh, it's not an easy matchup, but they're playing Green Bay next week. Oof. I mean, they did almost beat Green Bay. No, they did. They did beat Green Bay when they first uh, met, right? They didn't play this season. They only played each other once. Oh. Must be remembering another game. Yeah, but... Remembering something else for sure. Yeah. I will go ahead, jump on your boat. Not going to be in my cards for Sunday since it's a Sunday game. But uh, I will take the Tennessee Titans minus five at home against... Uh, oh, gosh. Detroit. Detroit. TJ Hawkinson, man, uh, he's got... That's the only I, thing you're hoping for. That is the only thing I'm hoping yep. for. I'm sorry, Danny. Uh, but okay. I think, uh, you know... It's fine. I mean, he can get, he can get, he can get his. It's fine. I'm, yeah, I, I would sure. expect him to... I would honestly expect Hawkinson to really get a lot of good targets in this game. I mean, Detroit's defense is... I mean, sorry, uh, Tennessee's defense is really not that good. Um so even Chase Daniels should try and be able to get something out. And since Daniels isn't really a big downfield thrower, yeah, a lot more underneath, a lot more of the safety valve for the tight end. More outside. chances, more points. Pretty I like much, it. Yeah. I like it. And that goes for you too. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and take Tennessee minus five out. There we go. We are both taking Tennessee here at minus five. Um, he doesn't think it's that high to really bet him. I think it's, I think it's fine to bet on it. Because I handicapped this game enough to where Tennessee should just be able to get a good enough win. Um, they're not looking too far ahead because most likely Indy's going to win their game this week against the Texans. So Tennessee's got to be able to stay up and you know try and compete with that. Yeah, so let us know in the comments how you think this game is going to go. If you're betting any of the sides or totals, let us know in the comments. Always like hearing it. Uh, but until next time, for Andrew Chang, I'm Daniel Saluto. If you like the content you got in this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe, tick the notification bell, and select all. That way you stay up to date with all of our latest videos and previews for the rest of the season. Again, we'd like to thank you for joining us in this preview, and stay tuned for the rest of Week 15's videos. But until next time, make sure you get your bets in, and of course, don't forget to be a tease.